Are you still kind of rehabbing or are you by all of that? Uh, so I'm basically at the end of my process. Um, rehab, it's, it's been a little journey, but I've gotten through it. Um, I just kind of treat it like a workout. I'm um, just going there, doing what I'm supposed to do, and get in and get out and keep, you know what I'm saying, my mind focused on what I'm supposed to do at hand and get done. So. How excited have you been about just learning a new system? Is it is it rejuvenating to, to have something new like yeah. this and the excitement of it? Uh, yeah, especially um, just because it's the first year and then uh, we've been on the Snyder for a long time too as well. Um, but the new coaches, they're bringing in a new vibe. Um, defense and install is always going to be a little challenging just because of the new stuff that they're giving us. But overall, I feel like we're, as a defense, we're doing good picking up the different things. Um, we're not done with our install yet, so we still got different things to see. But so far, well, I think we're doing pretty Will that good install go past the spring season? Uh, to be honest, that's a great question because they're um, still putting in stuff day to day, yeah, yeah, day to day. So we'll see as, as of right now. I feel like uh, we're almost pretty much done, but still got to see too. So. Yeah. So, Who's impressed you the most this spring defensively? This spring defensively? It could be anybody. Yeah. This spring defensively. Um, one person that jumps off the page already wide. I mean, I kind of know about wide and what he did last year. Um, in our room, as far as the linebackers, I feel like Justin, he took a big step from last year to this year just with, you know what I'm saying, becoming more of that leadership role and taking more um, ownership of the defense. Um, who else? Walt. Um, Walt's a great player. I give it to him. He's funny, too. He's a great player. He got speed, instincts. Um, who else? <laughs> we got so many great guys good. on our yeah. team. Man. It's just so Why is Wyatt great. so much better? Just stronger? Wyatt, I feel like at this point, um, he's learned from a lot of the guys that we had from the past years, too. So, and then this will be his second season, which blew my mind because I didn't even think he had uh, three more seasons left. I was like, you know what I'm saying? So, but Wyatt, I feel like his knowledge about the game, and then especially with the install and Reggie on the other side, I'm helping him out as well, too, and Kyle Ball and all those other guys. I feel like he's going on the mark from last year to this year, too. So. Thanks, man. I know those injuries were kind of serious in nature that you had and you know have lost almost during the last season. Has that been kind of a lot of adversity to go through? Uh, yeah, so, I mean, just going through those two things last year was kind of hard at the beginning just because I know I was going to have to stop at a certain point in the season. I only played, what, four games? And that was probably pretty much the hardest thing, just sitting there rehabbing, going through surgery and whatnot while all my other guys were out there playing and whatnot. I still supported them and whatnot, but for myself, it was pretty hard just, you know what I'm saying, no, you couldn't play the rest of the season. But at this point, I've gotten through everything. Um, I'm treating it as a workout. Um, at this point, I'm pretty much done with it. So, probably makes it a little bit easier to cope with since you, you basically you get that year back, right? You're, you're, you're a junior again. Yeah, I'm about to say yeah, I get that. I did get my year back too, so which is which is great. When I heard about it, me and my dad was talking about it too. So, but yeah, it was it was great to get that year back. So, are you almost 100 percent, 100 percent? How far away? I'm basically doing everything I practice. The only thing I can't do is tackle people. So I'm basically 80, 90 percent already. So, but yeah, I feel pretty good right now. So. You already spoke about some of the defensive players that had kind of taken a big step. You go against the offense. I know it's a different offense, different style now, but who kind of has been making the strides? Um, so especially, um, we, I, well, I talked about Gilbert and Harry uh, earlier today, those two guys. Um, rising, Hunter Rising, he's great <laughs> as a wide receiver. Um, who else? Uh, who else? We got the old line stepping up. I know we got a couple of new guys that's on the old line, but they're showing me different things that can give other defenses a little bit of trouble too as well. Um, who else? We got some tight ends that's stepping up a little bit. Um, but I also know there's some guys that are still hurt as well too. So I mean, it's still, I feel like the summer will give us a great look just because everybody's back in and we're actually going through the plays more fluently at that point. So, but. Right now, I feel like just those guys. Right now, so. I know a linebacker might not be the best person to ask this question to. I'm asking about a specific offensive lineman. Josh Rebos played quite a bit last year as a Richard freshman. Is he still making a lot, a lot of improvement right now? Where's he at? Okay, so Josh Rebos, uh, so he's one of the guys. I didn't mention his name, but he's one of the guys I was talking about. He's doing real well. Um, I feel like it's just that learning curve just from coming from last year to this year. Um, he just got to get over the learning curve. But I, I, how he's playing right now, he's giving me a little bit of trouble. So I feel like he's doing pretty good right now. So. <laughs>